Good evening, members of the board. Um, I'm a parent of a first grader, and we live in a little-known neighborhood, emerging neighborhood called Hyde Park. Um, we moved to Peachtree City a year ago, and this uh, neighborhood didn't exist, and I believe under the old map, it might be Crabapple, we're not sure, no one lived there. Under both Plan A and Plan B, we are being slated for um, Oak Grove, and this, um, I think, does not meet the uh, feeder plan. Uh, our child would be going to an elementary school uh, that would basically feed um, a middle school where the majority of the children that she would be uh, schooled with and under those plans would be going to a different middle school. So I don't believe it meets that objective. Um, <clears throat> we're also parents of uh, a special provision because, as I said, we didn't know where our neighborhood fell a year ago when we moved here. Um, I don't believe, and I'd like you to seriously consider whether it was really the mandate of this advisory group um, to touch that issue. Um, I don't believe special permissions are contributing to any of the capacity issues at the schools. Um, so I urge you to uh, uphold the letter agreements that any special uh, permission parent has. Uh, one other point I want to make, um, I don't believe the recommendation um, meets the issue, uh, and it's been said many times this evening, um, and that's just, you know, just a high level of disruption of students. And whether it's 25 or 27 or 50 or 60, it will impact scores, it will impact testing, and all the other human factors that give this county such a great reputation for schools. So I really urge you to consider, because I do believe that level of disruption could put a huge dent in the reputation of this county's schools. And that's why we're here to it. Two other quick things to consider. Uh, with all the movement, if you, for some reason, accept some version of these plans, please consider that it looks like we are moving so many students um, that this is impacting Title I schools and funding. And if we're going to move that level of students, I hope it's considered that we move some of the funding for those Title I schools. Um, those schools need that funding uh, if we're going to change the makeup of the schools. Um, Thanks for your consideration.